Hello wonderful one, welcome and in this tutorial you're going to learn how to solve this beautiful math olympiad equation. This is your usual system of equations or what you call simultaneous equation because you observe you have two equations and two variables to find. It's going to be so much easy and don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comment section. Let's do this together. So to answer this question, we begin with solution. Now, this is what we have. So we can easily repeat. We have x plus y is 100 and xy is 1000. We can log out this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now, you are free to make either x or y subject in any of these equations. So I want to go with equation 1 and I also want to make x subject. So we're going to have make x subject, okay? in equation one so in that case we are going to have x it means we want to remove this y and it's positive so to remove you subtract so you are going to have x is equal to 100 minus y interesting now what do we do we are going to use this value of x we have plug it into the second equation remember you made it subject in the first so you're going to plug it into the second one and to do that, we are going to have, so this is what we have. We can say put x into equation 2. So let's do it here to now have. So we're going to have, this is our equation 2. We have x will now be 100 minus y, okay? Then it's multiplied by y and is equal to 1,000. Now, remember that this is also the same as y into 100 minus y is equal to 1,000. Interesting. Now, you are free to distribute this y into this. So, to have 100y, this multiply gives you negative y squared is equal to 1,000. Interesting. Now, when you look at this, you observe that this is leading you to a quadratic equation because the highest power of y is 2. So we can rearrange this to now have negative y squared. This is positive 100y. We can remove this because it's addition, you subtract. So you subtract 1,000 from both sides and everything is equal to zero. Interesting. Now you observe that this equation starts with negative. Most students don't like working with negative. So to remove this negative, we are going to multiply this equation by negative 1. Okay, so multiply this by negative 1, you have y squared. Multiply this by negative 1, you have negative 100y. Multiply this, you have positive 1000. Multiply this, it gives you 0. Interesting. Now, solving this, remember that your y will be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is going to be our guide, okay? Now, your a is the coefficient of y squared. So, and the coefficient of y squared is 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, which is negative 100. And our c is the constant, which is 1,000. Now, we're going to plug these values into this formula to get the values of y. And to do that, don't forget also to like this video. Let's do this together. So, to do that, we have y is equal to we have negative in the formula our b is negative so be careful at this point okay plus or minus square root of our b is also negative 100 squared minus 4 will be multiplied so we can increase this okay so 4 will be multiplied so we have 4 is multiplying our a is 1 and our c is 1000 interesting so everything is divided by 2 multiplied by 1 simplifying this we are going to have y is equal to multiply this you have positive 100 plus or minus square root of negative 100 squared is negative 100 multiplied two times and that will give us 10,000 minus this multiplies this gives us negative 4000 divided by 2 times 1 gives us 2. Simplify more we have. y is equal to 100 plus or minus. Subtract this we have 
square root of 6,000 divided by 2. Now, this can also be rewritten as y is 100 plus or minus 60 multiplied by 100 and is divided by 2. Interesting. Now, remember, for every root A multiplied by B, it is root A multiplied by root B. So we are going to apply this to simplify this. And to do that, we have y is 100 plus or minus square root of 60 multiplied by square root of 100, okay? And is divided by 2. Now, remember that this 60 has a perfect square in it. So to bring out that perfect square, 60 is 2 here will give us 30, 2 will give us 15, 3 will give us 5, and 5 will give us 1. So because it's square roots pair, so we pair this and take one out. This can't be paired, so it remains in the root. So to simplify this, it will give you 2 roots. 3 times 5 gives you 15. So this is the same as this. So in that case, we are going to have y is equal to, so we're going to have 100 plus or minus 2 root 15 multiplied by this square root of 100 gives us 10 and is divided by 2. Interesting. Simplify more, we have y is equal to 100 plus or minus, this 2 we multiply 10, okay, to give us 20 root 15 divided by 2. So we can also simplify y is 100 divided by 2 plus or minus 20 root 15 divided by 2. So we're going to have y is, divide this, you have 50 plus or minus, this we can see this, we have 10 root 15. So in that case, we have y as, so the first value of y will be 50 plus 10 root 15, okay? And the second value of y will be 50. Then take the negative. We have negative 10 root 15. These are the two values of y. But remember, we are also need, we also requested to find the values of x. Now to do that, we have to recall that our x is equal to 100 minus y. So when the first value of y is equal to 50 plus 10 root 15. Let's get the first value of x. So we're going to have first value of x will be 100 minus y is this. Because y is an expression, please put it in brackets, okay? So that this sign here affects the signs inside. So we're going to have the first value of x will be 100 distributes this into this, we have negative 50. This will give us negative 10 root 15. Now add these two because they are constant. We have the first value of x will give us 50 minus 10 root 15. It means that the first value of x and the corresponding value of y will be 50 minus 10 root 15 and 50 plus 10 root 15. Now let's also get the second set. And to do that we have, so when second value of y is equal to 50 minus 10 root 15, okay? We are going to have our second value of x will be 100 minus, put it in brackets, okay? So this is what we have. Simplify, we have second value of x will be 100. Distribute, we have negative 50 plus 10 root 15. This gives us second value of x is 50 plus 10 root 15. Now, bringing this together, we have second value of x and the corresponding y value is 50 plus 10 root 15 and 50 minus 10 root 15. So these are the values, okay? So let's block it and also block this one we have here. Now we are going to do a check, okay? To put, you observe carefully that in this set, the first value of x is the second value of y 
and the second value of y is the first value of x so the sets are the same so we're going to use one of it to now check in the left side put these values in the left side will it be 100 and will it give us 1000 it's going to be interesting and don't forget to stay true and also share to do that we have so to check we are going to use the first value of x and the corresponding y value which gave us 50 minus 10 root 15 and 50 plus 10 root 15 okay we are going to plug this value at the left side so we're going to have for x plus y we are going to have this is our x okay then we have this plus our y we have 50 plus 10 root 15 collects like terms 50 plus 50 okay then minus 10 root 15 plus 10 root 15 this and this can go off so you are left with this add this gives you 100 so you see that x plus y gave us 100 i hope you see that and that's what we have at the right side of the equation so we're also going to check for x y now to do that we have our x is 50 minus 10 root 15 multiply it with 50 plus 10 root 15 let's see if this gives us 1000 now you observe that these two values are the same differences in the sign so easily remember that for every a squared minus b squared it is a plus b into a minus b so this is going to help us to expand this so to do that we are going to have so we have x y is equal to this is our a and this is b so we have 50 squared minus 10 root 15 squared simplify we have x y is 50 squared is 2500 this means 10 root 15 is multiplied two times because of this okay so if you simplify we're going to have xy is equal to 2500 10 times 10 will give us 100 and root 15 times root 15 remember root a times root a gives you root a squared the square cancels the square root so you are left with what a so in that case to simplify this we are going to have this times this will be left with 15. Now simplify, we have xy is 2,500. Multiply this, you have 1,500. And when you subtract this, it gives you 1,000. And that is what we have at the right side. So in conclusion, we have it that the values of x and y giving us 50 minus 10 root 15 and 50 plus 10 root 15 for the first set and the second set as 50 plus 10 root 15 and 50 minus 10 root 15 is correct and i hope this really helps you a lot don't forget to like this video share it so that others will learn with you and also tell us how you feel about this in the comments we always want to serve you best thank you for always engaging with us if you are still new to this channel click on the notification button for updates see you in our next class bye